We're here today with Dave Charvet at George Moreland Plumbing. Uh, everybody's really interested about saving money, saving water. So you have a few things you can show us? Well, they go hand in hand, water and money in this case, uh, with toilets especially now, because toilets have changed a lot in the last few years. If you have an older home that was made, say, turn of the century, and you love this antique toilet that you have, right. you need to be aware that it may be flushing as much as five to seven gallons of water down with each flush. That that's much? One flush, imagine that. That's a down. lot. That is and a lot. And of course, uh, over the years, that's come down. But it's really come down lately because since 1992, it's been a 1.6 gallon toilet. And everyone thought that's as far as we can go. Right, Not right. true. Now we have toilets that are now using 1.28 gallons, which is about 20% less than even the most high efficient toilet a few years ago. That's a huge drop. It is I a mean, big that's, drop. That's... And if you look at uh, the way toilets, again, years ago were made, you have some that are using three and a half gallons if your house was built you know, before 1977. And so one of these right. newer toilets will save an average family about 13,000 gallons of water a year. That's a lot. That's a lot of water. That's a lot. So, and not only water, but of course the sewage, the waste sure. that goes out. And that's been the big concern, actually, with a lot of uh, municipalities now, right. is the fact the water, yes, but also wastewater treatment, because right. we have more people flushing more toilets, and so there's more water going down the drain. So the new toilets we have, in this case, uh, most all of the new toilets, if you look at them, they usually have a label on them that says water sense. And so that's, water, that's what we're looking for. That's what the label you're looking for, okay. because that is, uh, by the EPA, they have determined this toilet qualifies as a super high efficiency toilet, what they call an HET, high efficiency toilet. That means it uses 1.28 gallons or less per flush. But there's still toilets on the market that One, don't meet those? Well, they're, they're ones that, that meet, again, the code. The current code is 1.6 or less. Okay, still so, pretty good. But eventually, I think that will go to 1.28, we'll okay. see. And that would be, as I say, a, a toilet you can get now with 1.28. They don't look any different. And a lot of people think that simply you can take an old toilet, put a brick in it, or maybe put a jug of water right, in it. Right, jug of water, right. It doesn't work, though, because what happened is that everything was redesigned with all the new toilets. The trapway, which is where the waste goes once the toilet's flushed, is much larger than the old toilets, okay. so they can use less water. So the larger opening, the waste goes out much quicker with less water. And if you try to do it with an old toilet and just displace that water and use less water to flush, you're going to get a clog. So you're not going to get the efficiency by using less water. No, no what toilet. happens is you get, you'll have to double flush, which kind of defeats the purpose. So. <laughs> totally, <laughs> so, totally. But uh, they say they're either designed as 1.28, and a new technology out is called a Dual Max. This is made by Toto, and it actually has two buttons on it. And one is for a liquid waste flush. If it's just liquid waste, it uses less than a gallon of water, 0.9. And the other one for a solid waste flush is 1.6. That's incredible. I mean, that's such a little bit of water. You just wouldn't think it would work. It does. It does. So again, Again, there are great new toilets on the market. Be sure to check labels, make sure that they do qualify. And also municipalities now are offering rebates in many cases for installing a high efficiency toilet, which cuts the price way down. Wow, that's great. Thanks, Dave, for all the information. Um, and we'd like to let everybody know to check with your local water provider for incentives and rebates. And if you have more questions, come on down to George Moreland Plumbing. They'd be happy to help you.